So this is this is user form part two. We're going to continue building a simple user form and and show how you actually would use this in Excel VBA. So let's go back to the VBA environment and let's just kind of review where we were. We we had created this simple user form with a text box and we remembered to name the text box. You really want to name your elements so we named the text box and we created a command button again the command button from our tool palette and we remembered to name the command button we just called that btn do it and at this point we wanted to try to see if our user form would work um, but but first we we said we wanted to do something so I, I double click the command button and it opens up and it says okay now notice up here in the drop down menu I'm on button do it so we have the text output widget you want to call that a widget and then we have the user form itself and we have the button so I can pick those items from this drop down menu and you'll notice then that the button has this button do it that's the name of my button it has a click event handler and so when the user clicks on that button this piece of code is going to be executed and what we wanted it to do is simply put the hello world in our text box Now I want you to notice since we have the button clicked over at the right up here we have all the different handlers for this particular button so for instance if the user enters the button with a mouse you could have it do something in fact we could actually go ahead and do that just for fun and so what we'll say is we'll put it in the text box we'll say text output dot txt you know oopsie uh, my computer just locked up oh that's not a good thing uh, text uh, is set equal to you know entering button because as soon as I enter the button it's going to put that text in my text output box so that's just something else we can explore you'll notice then that there's a lot of other events here for key up and down and the mouse up and down and so on and so forth so all of these things can actually be used but click is the most common one you'd use for a button of course and so the button click event handler right here is what we're going to use now to actually try this thing out we have to somehow get the form to show up in other words if I go out to Excel you'll notice that the forms not there on the screen I got I got to see this form somehow so there's a number of ways to do this but one kind of cheesy way to do this is to go into our sheet and so I'm going to go to sheet one here and I'll double click sheet one and it opens up the sheet one code window and it notice it says up here at the top it says worksheet and then over here I've got all these various events that this worksheet can can respond to so you can actually whenever the worksheet changes you can have some code to execute and so on I mean, this is all kind of crazy stuff but what we really want to do is when the worksheet is activated we want to do something and what we want to do is we want to show our user form so we got to remember what that was called and I think I called it program entry so I'm going to type PROG and then I'm going to hold down the control key and hit the space bar and it just puts the name up immediately because that's the only variable in my program that starts with program with PROG so then I want to say program entry Dot, and I get all these options here from my pick list and I just want to show it so I said I want program entry dot show so when that worksheet worksheet one gets activated it's going to show my program entry form well, that's kind of cool well let's see if it does it so I'll click back here on Excel and and I'm on the sh I'm on this uh, sheet already so the sheets not really being activated at this point because it was already active but if I go to sheet two now sheet 2 just got activated and if I go back to sheet 1 bingo the sheet 1 is activated my user form pops up notice how it's centered on Excel because that was the setting we used in the properties for this user form and if I move my mouse cursor just right on top of that button if I don't click it but I just move it inside the button I ought to get some text in my in my little text box there. so let's just see what happens when I move the mouse cursor up there on that button so I I just move the mouse cursor and nothing happened and I'm like okay well nothing happened how about we move some text there so it's not working and I have no idea why but we'll explore that now let's see if the mouse click does anything the mouse click was supposed to put something like hello world so I'll click it oh hello world worked um, and I thought I saw something else happen for just a minute there well the hello world worked but the mouse entry did not work so let's see what happens when we click close and explore that but notice how the click handler put hello world well every time I click it it puts hello world so what we need is another button that says clear oh let's try making another button that says clear so we can try this hello world and see if it's really working multiple times okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and close this user form and I'm gonna go back to VBA so at this point um, my entry didn't work but let's go explore that so I'm gonna 
Well, wait. I thought we wanted to add another text button, uh, another command button. Let's go ahead and do that first. So I click my command button on my tools. I'll go ahead and drag it right out there. And I want to rename this thing. So I go in here and I'm going to call it um, BTN Clear. That's a good name. And I want the caption to say Clear. And maybe I want to change that font, you know, to make that font look a little bit more like the other font. I have no idea what font size I use, but let's say it was 12 and bold. Okay. Close enough. Now I'm going to double click this button because I want to get into the event handlers for this button. So I double click the button. And now notice it says sub button clear. And what do I want to do? I want to clear that text field. Well, remember, I can just look down here. It says text output dot text is how I put text in that text field. So I'd say, you know, txt, and I just uh, hit the command space bar, text output dot te, and there's the text property. So I can hit tab, and I want to set it equal to the empty string. So I just do quote, quote, and that should clear it. Okay, that's cool. Now let's take a look at this sub right here. It says button, do it, enter. Hmm, I don't know what that means, but I'm thinking it might mean when I hit the enter key. So let's go look at this list of options I have under the button do it. So I have button do it as the object that's currently selected. And here are all the options for button do it. And you'll notice that there's a mouse down, mouse move, mouse up. Hmm, I'd have to look this up to see what enter does. Again, I'm, you know, just sort of clueless. And I could say, well, enter and exit. I really like that, enter and exit. I don't know why that's not working. But I'd have to do a little research. But I could say mouse move. Let's try the mouse move and see what happens. So button, mouse move, and then it says bival button is integer, shift. Ooh, -wee, this looks a little more complicated than I want to get into right now. <laughs> button, do it, mouse move. But let's just throw that text box in there and see what happens. So I'll just copy that and uh, click right here, paste it in there and tab over and say mouse move and see what happens. M-O-U-S-E, M-O-V-E. So now I've got a bunch of event handlers. I've got a, a clear handler for button clear that clears it and so on. Now let's go back out to Excel and see if anything interesting happens. So I'll click back out here on Excel. Now I want to activate this sheet. So I go to sheet two, come back to sheet one. It shows my user form. Ooh, mouse moved worked. Let's, let's hit clear, and then watch if I move the mouse into this click me button. It says mouse move. So the mouse move is working just fine. Let's click on the click me button. Ooh. Click. I can't get my hello world because as soon as I do the click, it then shows the mouse move. Let's do a clear, and I can't. <laughs> let's, let's, try, uh, let's try hitting the tab key. Tab key moves into the text box. Tab key moves there. Oh, entering button. So I just entered that button. Now let me hit the enter key on that button. And it says, hello world. Because the enter key on a button basically activates the button, right? And now I can hit tab. And then I can hit enter. I'm hitting the enter key on my keyboard and clear. OK, we're learning lots of interesting things here. Can I just type in a text box? Hey, yeah, you can. So that's just a text box, right? You can type something in it. And then I can hit the clear button. OK, so we're learning a lot of interesting things here. So at this point, you really need to experiment with what I've done. You can watch these two videos and build this same box and build this same code. Let me close this, and I'll go back to my Visual Basic. Again, to get into the event handlers for these things, what would happen if I double click my form? Well, if I double click the form, of course, the form is called user form. Well, notice what it did. It added a handler for the user form click. So I actually could do text output there too. Text output dot text equals you know form click, and then I can go ahead and take a look at that. Go to sheet two. Go to sheet one. And I click on the form, and it says form click. Okay, click. Mouse move. We're going crazy here. <laughs> Again, go back to the code. Double click on any of your elements. Let's just double click on a button that already has a click handler. And there's all the code. Now, this mouse move one is kind of interesting. I don't know all the details of that one. But uh, there's the code. You can give this a shot and start playing with basic user forms, OK?